What's up guys, Big Papa here, and today I wanted to release a video that's exclusively in our bootcamp course. Uh, I wanted to release it to you guys because this just talks a bit about the tech stack that we use and the funnel that we, uh, that we have set up for our lead generation endeavors. Um, again, I wanted to just kind of give you guys a little sneak peek into what bootcamp looks like, um, show you guys one of the course modules. And uh, it, again, in this course module, I show you exactly the different uh, pieces of software that we use to run our lead generation agency. So hopefully this is really helpful because I get a lot of questions in the discord about which tech stack is the best. Um, there's a lot of options out there, but uh, this is going to explain again, the ones that we've been using for five plus years in our agency. Um, and we just use them because they simply work their page lead load speeds are really good on the landing page softwares that we use. The quiz softwares are really good. Um, the distribution softwares are really good. So this is going to show you exactly what you need. And I talk about kind of basic setups and more advanced setups. So, uh, without further ado, please check out this video that is again, usually exclusive for bootcamp members, but we're releasing to you on YouTube as a thank you for subscribing. Please comment below. Uh, if you have any questions about this tech stack, Comment below if you have uh, other tools that you use that you think are really good. And as always, make sure to join the free Discord link in the description because we're talking about the things that we use in the Discord. We're talking about different strategies in the Discord. And uh, as always, I'm there to answer your questions and we're trying to get to a thousand members. Hopefully by the time you see this, we're already there, but there's gonna be something special happening when we hit a thousand. So I'll shut up. Here's the video. What's up bootcamp? Uh, I want to share a video on our tech stack because we've got a few questions about it. Uh, I've actually been meaning to make this video for a while just to tie in everything that we use to run our agency. In total, all of the tools that we use, they cost around $1,000 a month, but 500 of that is lead prosper, um, which you really don't need. So I'll actually go through, I'll update this, this sheet after with the prices and everything. Um, you can also click through our Disc, uh, discounted links below our, our referral links below you get discounts on most of these if you use our codes um, so we would appreciate that obviously um, but yeah let's just go through exactly how this tech stack all works together so um, first things first we have our lead generation brand website okay so I've got my example here insurance Ian dot com so we like these personified brands we had a few questions about brands it doesn't really I mean it doesn't it doesn't uh, matter what you name your brand. We just like to have fun, lighthearted brands. You could totally go with something like this, like Insurance Ian or Timeshare Tracy, or you could go more corporate or kind of, you know, uh, something like, you know, Roofing, Roofers R Us or Roofing Brothers, like something a little bit less um, fun. But at the end of the day, you just, you need a brand that looks professional because really what we're using this for, there's, there's two things. One is going to be uh, that this is going to be used to show our clients um, that we're legit. So when we show a client this website, it makes us look very legitimate. It looks like, uh, and, and we are, um, it shows them that we have a legit website, a, a legit lead generation operation going here. And then also our clients are going to see the name insurance Ian. So we have to think about what would the, what would as a potential lead, um, what would be uh, a trustworthy or fun brand that you'd want to engage with yourself? Think about that and think about what your leads are going to want to engage with. So we thought, we want to have insurance in the name because we're doing life insurance. We want to have timeshare in the name because we're doing timeshare Tracy. So these brands are set up to run in one niche only. You could go with something like financial f uh, freedom for lack of a better uh, word, financialfreedom.com and have a bunch of different financial brands under that too. That totally works. Uh, but we like to be niche specific. That's just what we like to do. So we have our lead generation site. It's built on WordPress. The templates are uh, going to be, they're linked all over lead, uh, the lead base course to so make sure you're getting the templates. Uh, first things first, so what we like to do when we are selling leads is uh, we like to pitch first and then go and really like build out and start running our funnels with the money that we've gotten from, from clients. So uh, we're going to use our site to make our first sales. We use G Suite so you can you know get your website insurance in and then you can have Ryan at insurancein.com through G Suite. That's like seven bucks a month or something like that. Um, I'll, again, I'll type these out after, so I'm not writing like the worst writing ever. Uh, we then use instantly.ai to acquire those clients. So here's our website. We use instantly.ai to go and uh, set up these emails. So this was an example one that I had here. Uh, sequences, so I can scrape a bunch of solar leads, for example. They're verified. These aren't. Oh, these are verified. Uh, you can scrape them off instantly, and then you can send them uh, split-tested emails to see 
uh, which one's working better. You can have multiple steps in there. So that's why we like instantly, uh, if you use their lead scraping and their emailing tool, it's like 300 US a month, but you can always cancel after the first month. Um, so we get our clients through instantly, uh, and then we, you know, send them a Zoom link on, uh, or sorry, I, I actually use Calendly to, to send them. Once they've answered the instantly, I send them my Calendly link and say, hey, let's book a quick, you know, 30 minute call so we can go over, show you what we do. So we use Calendly for that and have a Zoom or a Google meet with them. Uh, and then for that first order with them, we like to run Facebook ads, uh, or sorry, I'm still talking about sales. Uh, I was just going to say, you also could run Facebook or TikTok ads to acquire clients. I haven't done that in a while because instantly is just so much better in my opinion, because you can target exact lists of the people you want to work with. Um, but we have run Facebook ads to get clients before and TikTok ads as well in the past, not for about a year or two now. Uh, but if you want to get creative with that, you can. So let's say we've got our client um, and now we need a funnel. So we like to start simple when we start with a client. So or we're at least recommending you do that um, because we have experience kind of starting things out with more comprehensive quiz funnels. But if you're just starting out, it it can make sense to test with a lead form to start out. And you've heard me talk about that before. Um, so usually we're starting with Facebook because it's easiest to test things on. And then we're moving to Google on the second or third order, depending on the niche, depending on there's a lot of factors. You know, maybe you already know Google really well. And you want to start with Google. That's great. Usually the leads are a little bit better, potentially more costly, just depends. Um, so you can actually start without using unbounce or leads hook. Um, you can just use a Facebook lead form. That's the simplest way to get started. Not great quality leads, but a great way just to test your creatives, you know, start to figure things out, start to deliver some leads, um, and start to learn your first client will probably fire you if you send them all lead form leads. So you've got to kind of balance that. Um, and maybe you want to run lead forms before even getting a client, invest some of your own money, a couple hundred bucks to just to see how those leads are, call them yourself, um, see if they pick up the phone. Um, but after, you know, after you graduate from lead forms, it's time to go to Unbounce and Leads Hook. So these are our favorite. Um, we wanna start running some really high quality leads to them. We're gonna build our landing page on Unbounce. So I'll show you that here. So I've got this life insurance example here. Um, we can run different types of landing pages on Unbounce. So here's an example of just a quiz page. Uh, and here's an example of an advertorial. So the advertorial is longer and the quiz is at the bottom. And the landing page here that everything is hosted on is going to be through Unbounce. So that's what's hosting uh, the secure.insuranceian. We've hooked Insurance Ian up to Unbounce and secure is the subdomain. And then we can slash and have as many, um, I don't know what the word is for that, as many pages as we want inside of Unbounce. And then Leads Hook is just the quiz that's embedded on the page. So Leads Hook is right here. When we pre preview this page, we're going to see leads hook at the bottom as the quiz. It shows up all nice and pretty there. Um, same with this one. We've got leads hook right here so they can go through the quiz. Leads hook is collecting the information here. Unbounce isn't actually collecting any information. All they're doing is tracking how many people convert on this page. So our 2.5% conversion rate doesn't sound very good, but the cost per click and life insurance is very low because we're, we're a little bit clickbaity. So usually we see like a 10 to 20% conversion, but for life insurance, it's such a kind of boring industry. Sorry guys. So we have to be a little bit more uh, fun with our hooks and try and, you know, get people thinking differently about life insurance, get them to click. And then we try and explain to them why life insurance is good, a good investment on this page here. Um, so leads hook is what was embedded on that page. As you can see here, these are all leads hook quizzes. They show the impressions that they got on the page and then the completed uh, or the leads that were captured through that quiz. So again, we're embedding this on Unbounce. This is the quiz we're going to use. Um, you could just have a form on this page that is built inside Unbounce. That works too. But when you're asking 12 questions, it looks very long on a form. Um, that being said, we do have a template where you can do a multi-step form right inside Unbounce. Let me pause and show you that quick. So this is an example of an Unbounce, pa Unbounce page that is not using Leads Hook. Um, so you could just use this if you don't pay the 99 bucks for lead hook, or it might even be, even be more now. Um, actually I'm pretty sure it's 99 bucks. Um, you can use this form, which is built inside unbounce. So you're kind of making a quiz. It's not quite as intuitive as lead hook, but you could just use this. Um, so if you want to upgrade to unbounce, it's like, I think it might be $99 to start. If you use our code, I believe you get 20% off for three months. So, um, again, would love it if you use that code. 
Um, get yourself a deal there. So this is a, a form that's built inside Unbounce. Um, but these, uh, let's see what the best one here is. I'll just pull up this little quiz here. This is built inside Leads Hook. So um, with the Unbounce one, you're just kind of using simple form logic. With this one, we can actually split things out and do a ton of different stuff. We can verify phone numbers, uh, which you can also do inside Unbounce. But we just like to use Leads Hook because I can split off. I could have multiple decisions for every single, I um, can't remember how to do this because Ryan B does this. Um, basically you can split off, is it this one? No. You can split off uh, multiple decisions here. So if they're in Alberta, we could send them one way. If they're in British Columbia, send them one way. Or for you Americans, if they're in Los Angeles, we send them one way. Texas, we send them another way. We can split people out and have logic on this lead. So quiz, this is actually a very simple quiz. There's like basically one track besides the phone number section here. Um, so very simple thank you page. We send them, or sorry, we send them through this lead hook quiz to the thank you page. This is embedded on Unbounce. So Unbounce and lead hook are our, um, this is basically what our funnel is built on is Unbounce and lead hook. And then let's say we get a lead that comes through Unbounce. They go to the thank you page and that lead is going to be sent to Lead Prosper. And we're using Zapier to do that. Uh, there is a section in the course that's gonna show you how to hook up to Lead Prosper via Zapier. Um, let me show you that. So there's not actually a great way for me to show you Lead Prosper because it's got sensitive information in there. Um, but again, there's a video on how to hook those up. So Lead Prosper essentially takes the lead and then distributes it out to clients. So it's not really worth it until obviously you're making a decent profit. You don't want to be spending $500 um, if you don't need to. So that's, you know, once you have several clients that have different reasons for sorting leads, um, that's when it makes sense to um, get that. And then you can have five clients plugged in there and leads, lead prosper is going to distribute those leads for you. And then we use Zapier as well for a bunch of different reasons. Um, basically lead prosper captures that leads and then zaps it out. Um, with a webhook and that webhook is captured in Zapier. We post to a Google Sheet, which is like, we like to use Google Sheets for all of our clients and that's kind of like our tracking for them. So each client has a Google Sheet, the lead goes onto that sheet, the client sees it and we see it, it's like the middle ground and then they can make notes on that Google Sheet for us. We also usually send an email to them letting know, them know, hey, a lead has come in, um, someone needs to contact that lead. So Zapier and Lead Prosper, what we use here, Again, this is lead prosper is quite expensive, so uh, it's not it's not really necessary right off the bat. And then in terms of tracking and accounting, um, obviously when we close to our first client, we need to get payment from them. Um, I didn't put Stripe on here actually. This should be Stripe, not sticking out. So Stripe should be on here. Actually, it should be in sales really. Stripe or PayPal. I mean, I don't really like PayPal, but you can use PayPal. Um, so Stripe is where we collect our payments. You can send credit card links to people. You have like a payment link for 50 leads, for 100 leads, for different prices. Stripe is really great. Um, they're a little bit annoying when you're first starting because they're really restrictive on payouts, but um, I just find them easy to use and the fees are just kind of all the same. Like you're paying two and a half percent regardless of who you use, which kind of sucks, but Stripe is easy. You can, again, you can send links to clients and then Wise, um, is if you want to get bank transfers from your clients. I really like TransferWise. Um, and this is really more valuable if you're cross-border. So if you're in Australia, New Zealand, UK, uh, we're in Canada, we like WISE because it allows us to open a US bank account in the US, not just a US dollars account, but an actual physical US bank account. And then that way, US clients can, can simply ACH or wire transfer that account, and then we can convert it to Canadian into our own accounts. So WISE is great. Uh, link below to get like 120 bucks free if you sign up uh, or you have to send one transfer, something like that. And then Amex, um, I love my American Express card. It is like $800 a year, but when you sign up, you get $1,200 in statement credits. And then every single year, it's it's basically one cent per dollar spent. Um, so if you're running, you know, big budgets through that, it, you know, we get like, we get a lot of travel, like we have like 25 grand in travel in there right now. So Amex is awesome. Um, again, you can use our code here to get, I think you actually only get this if you sign up normally with us, with our code below, you get 80,000 extra points or maybe it's vice versa. Um, and then wise you get, right, 100, and f oh, I get, oh, I only get 150. I don't know if you guys get anything. Oh, you get $800 free transfer, 
which WISE is already a really cheap way to send money in my experience. It's way better transaction fees and conversion fees. Um, so WISE, Amex, and then Google Sheets is where we keep track of things. You'll see that in the tracking and scaling. You probably saw that in the video just before this. We just do it manually. We track our orders every single week. And then we actually use QuickBooks Online. Uh, it works decent for us up in Canada. So some of our invoicing is through that and our accountant uses QuickBooks. Um, so basically all of our transactions are fed into QuickBooks Online for tracking. Um, and that way we have like, when we do our taxes at the end of the year, we can do them properly. So that's really, that's pretty much it. There's, there's not a whole lot going on here. Um, you know, again, we use our lead gen site to sell people. We then uh, get our first client. We take their money through Stripe. Let's say we had a $5,000 revenue from 100 leads, 50 bucks a lead. We go and create our funnel on Facebook and Google, run it through Unbounce and Leadshook, distribute the leads through Lead Prosper or just Zapier. And then at the end of the order, we sit back and we say, we made five grand, we spent three grand, we made $2,000 in profit last week. That's it. So if you can get to the point where you're distributing hundreds of leads a week and you can make a 40% margin on it, that's when you start to make good money. And that's where this model really works well. So uh, hopefully that video is helpful. And uh, again, use our codes below. We really appreciate it. Um, and most of them benefit you, like I said, so they're worth using. So uh, that's it for today. We'll see you in the next one. Bye.